enjoying a walk in Leicester's Castle Gardens. 200 years ago, one particular passerby would be difficult to miss. Born on the 13th of March 1770, Daniel Lambert worked in the city as a keeper of the Bridewell with his father. Bridewells, or Houses of Correction, were originally for homeless people, but later became prisons for a range of minor offenders. So what was he like? Well, historical accounts give us an insight into the personality of Daniel Lambert. He was certainly well-loved in his home city of Leicester, even by the prisoners, because he treated them so well. And in 1803, a prison inspector remarked, he's a humane man, a very improper person, to be the keeper of a prison. Leicester museums have a number of artefacts from the life of their famous son. People are always sort of um, surprised by the, the size and the uh, and surprise and the dimensions. You get people also, um, say they're in the 30s or 40s, who have been brought up coming along to the museum. So he's also quite, uh, he's quite familiar to them. But um, as I say, you, they bring probably their kids in, in later, uh, later on to see him. So he's... he's popularity continues. When Daniel's services were no longer needed at the prison, he had to find other ways of making money. He decided to go on tours of the country, allowing people to see his bulky size as long as they paid a shilling. But he didn't like becoming a freak show. So why did he get so big? Philip Massey has been studying his life. We can only assume, I think, that he probably did suffer from primary obesity. Um, he was, had been an athletic person in his youth, but then he took on the keepership of the Bridewell, and that's a very sedentary occupation, so he didn't move around a lot. And he just seems to have got bigger and bigger. I'm sure he suffered from health problems as well as he increased in size. Experts aren't sure if it's true, but there's an anecdote about Daniel Lambert challenging people in the pubs to a running race, as long as he was given a slight head start. He would then run through one of the many passageways here in Stamford, and because he was so big, the other runner couldn't get past him. Staying in Stamford for the races at what was then the Wagon and Horses pub, Daniel Lambert died suddenly at 9 o'clock on the 21st of June 1809. He was only 39 years old. A ground floor window and part of the wall had to be demolished to remove his body for burial in Stamford. There may have been heavier people since, but Daniel Lambert will always have a big place in British history. Simon Ward, East Midlands Today.